name is Ted Ham. 62 years old. For the past 23 years, I've been working with trailing dogs. Two dogs I currently work with are Alaska, female red bloodhound, seven and a half years old. Mr. Bo Jangles, blue tick coon hound, and he's also about seven and a half years old. Combined, I've deployed these two dogs about 600 times, mostly on felony criminal cases. Now you asked for details of a case I worked. Worked what's called a hot prowl burglary with Mr. Bo Jangles. Hot prowl burglary is where the home is burglarized while the people are in the house. In this case, a woman woke up and uh, discovered a man standing in her bedroom. She screamed, and the suspect took off running, went out the front door, and ran off down the street. When deputies arrived on the scene, they found a pile of her belongings piled by the front door, which they assumed the suspect had planned to take with him. And they also found a window that had been forced open where the suspect had gained entry into the house. We collected scent from the window where the suspect had climbed into the house, and then using Bojangles and starting at the front door where the suspect was known to have left from, I gave him the scent, and we followed that person's scent for about three quarters of a mile. Most of this trail was on residential sidewalks, a short portion of it was also on a major uh, four-lane thoroughfare. The trail ended when Bojangles went up to the front door of a house, indicated there was a fair amount of scent, a lot of interest at that house. Uh, the deputies knocked on the door, the woman answered the door, they asked if anybody else lived with her, she said her son did, but that he'd been home all night. The deputies asked if they could... Uh, meet with him if she'd bring him to the door, and she did. Uh, when this suspect, when this person came to the door, he roughly matched the description the victim had given, height, weight, ethnicity, things like that. So they had him stand out by the street and had the uh, victim brought by in a patrol car, and when she saw him, she identified him as being the person that had been in her house. When the investigators confronted this suspect with the fact that the bloodhound had trailed, all the way from the victim's house straight to his front door, and also that the victim had identified him as having been in her house. He uh, then confessed to having committed the crime. The investigators said that they were pretty certain without the dog taking him to that house, they would have had no way to even think about him being the suspect, so they were very glad to have had the dog's help. Thank you very much.